Hi everyone, I'm Luke and this is Accurate Drawing. I know it's been a while since I posted my last video, but it's because I was working on my sound and uh, yeah, at some point I had to do it anyways, even if it's not the best, I think it should be a little bit better than it was last times. So let's do what we do best, or at least what we enjoy best, which is playing chess. So today the uh, the objective is going to be to um, what was our last episode about? I'm not even sure. Let's see. Let's see. I think I was on my other account. Yeah. Just switch real quick. And yeah. Look at that at the same time, okay. So we play London. I think we can play this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this was not intended. Okay, our last episode. Wow. You know, I started a new series. It was Learn from Your Games. Um, maybe we'll do uh, an episode in which we play a game today, so. Let's do just that, and uh, we are gonna learn from the game anyway. So let's see what we do. Let's see what we do. Okay, maybe let's just do this. Here he cannot come. He'll be stuck. Okay, now we can play. We can play this, just getting our queen out of the way. Again, he moved, attacking the queen again. That's just block. See what he does. We're just developing our pieces. In this game, maybe, and in the next few ones. We're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to we're going to try and uh, apply a checklist, which is recommended by many good chess players. So the idea is why is he blue? Okay, he's not rated all the way. Uh, yeah, the idea is uh, to, to uh, build a procedure in which we um, we keep track of many things on the board we make sure we don't forget anything or at least much less so uh, I wrote down the checklist and it looks like I'm gonna read it here so the first thing would be uh, to look at what he's doing, is he attacking something, is he defending something, or is this a neutral, a neutral move that he's, he's done, so the last move was this, it was attacking my piece, so this would be uh, the, the first thing on the checklist. Second, are there any checks that we can do or that he can do? And here, I don't see any checks, either for one or the other. It's all right. So first thing done, second thing done. Third, um, are there any hanging pieces? Um, so this is not, this is not, this is not. These are not hanging pieces. This is not. This is a hanging piece, and this is a hanging piece. So, 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 what do we do? And uh, yeah, this would be a hanging piece too. Okay. Uh, fourth point would be um, okay. This is me. Uh, what does he want? So gathering all this information, I try to to understand what does he want. So I think here he just wants to um, get as much as he as much pieces as he can in the middle, and that's what he has done. And it's uh, it's all right. Next is uh, two candidate moves. So next on the checklist, two candidate moves. Um, I think I could eat here and then I could look at that move. I could also castle. 
to be all right, I think. But look at this. This is hanging too, and this is attacking it. Okay. So okay, castle. I'm not sure. First candidate move. This candidate moves. It's uh, attacking. It's uh, reducing the attackers. So I think I like it. Maybe I'm gonna do that. If I attack here, and then he takes with this. Yeah, I can just take back because I have two pieces in. Take he takes. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay. So uh, again, the last. Sorry, I'm. Uh, I'm going from uh, one thing to the, the other, not in a very straightforward order. Okay, and the sixth point on the checklist was uh, was going to be his next move. I'm going to keep that open right here. And uh, yeah, before you do move, you try to uh, to calculate what he's going to do next. So here, he could just take back with this. And if I take, then he could take back, and I would take back. So it's all right to take him. Then that's what I'm gonna do because we don't have infinite time. We have to play move at some point. So here I just take. If he takes back, I take back with my queen. And he's gonna take back because of the elo, and he's not going to take back. So I'm going to take. Am I going to take? This could be a candidate move. And I'll do the checklist in this order. Here he did a defensive move. I have another candidate move here. I have another candidate move here. I think what he wants here is just to get safe for uh, to begin an attack. And uh, I don't think I forgot anything. The uh, checks. I have no checks. He might have a check in a few moves if. I let him take my bishop here, uh, but this again would help him uh, develop these pieces. Now I am a piece up, and if I take here, he takes back, I take here, I'm another piece up, so I think it's gonna be alright. Let's just do this. Uh, I said I'm a piece up, but I'm just a pawn up. And now I should be two pawn up, two pawns up. With this and he cannot move, move his knight, he can move his queen, he can move his rook, but it's all right. He could move here also, but this is a very bad move, I think, because it just opens the king. And I could, I could, what could I do? I could attack here, which would be good, I think. Um, if he moves this, I can just take his knight. Because it will be hanging, but now this is hanging. This was an, att an attacking move. I could propose a trade, but I'm not sure it's a good thing. Takes I take, but he's gonna take this, and I'm gonna be in big trouble. So this is a candidate. No, not this. This is a candidate move. Um. What else could I do? I could do this, uh, which is more a neutral move, preparing the attack maybe. This might be a solid move. <laughs> no, not the draw. Not the draw. It's maybe because he saw something that I did not see. Okay, so this he cannot attack with the. Uh, any one of his pieces, but this again is independent. This, I'm not at all. So, but he will surely attack with this. But he will not because I take this, and then I can just, you know, cause trouble because he's going to do this, and I can just go here. Yeah, I think this is a good move. Pretty sure this is a good move. He takes here. Okay, now I can just take as I said. What can I? I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah. After he does this, I can either go go here or here. 
and this is also a thing. Okay, and now he does this, in which case I could. Okay, here this would be a good move for him. This, if he moves here, I take and I take here. If he just takes back, then I go back here, something like that. If I move here and he does that, yeah. I'm alright, I think here I should just trade. Yeah, pretty sure this was a good trade for me. I was thinking about a, an attack, sorry, a castle on the, on this side. But now I'm thinking, okay, maybe I just should play it safe. Maybe I could go here with my knight if he does this I just take and if he takes then I take back and I have this escape route so I think that's what I'm gonna do so he takes I take here and then I have this in case he's attacking, he attacks my, my thing. Okay, so let's not forget the checklist. The checklist. I'll just repeat it. So first, what what does he want? Like uh, attack or defend? Are there any checks? Are there hanging pieces? What does he want? Again, <laughs> what does he want? Um, five would be. Um, Two candidate moves and six would be what will he do next? So here I could just take, but then he takes back. He's gonna take back and it's alright. It's alright. Because now I have this. Taking control of the file. And remember I have the escape route. And he cannot take here. He cannot check me, I cannot check him. This is uh, almost hanging, also these are very vulnerable. Okay, now I could, now I could castle. I think I could castle, maybe I should castle. Now I have this escape route. And this is uh, also good. So let's just castle. We play real safe. He can attack me, but I can just go. So it's fine. This and this is hanging. So try to remember that. Maybe play something like this. Okay, and he did that. He did that. Here I should propose a trade. Not so. So if he does, this is also a fork, which I don't know if I can exploit. Oh, but it blocks my queen also. Okay. Proposes a trade, and I think I'm happy to take it because I control the only file that is. Uh... Oh, but look at this! I have this move, which is a check. And if he takes, I take the queen, and if he takes here, then I'm fucked. So I'm not going to do that. Instead of this, I think I'll just simplify because as I said, I think I am in a good position. 
I have anything else? It's here. Yeah, let's just trade. Let's just trade because my pieces are not. Uh, they were not very, uh, not very good. Uh, how could I say? Not a very good uh, coordination. Coordination. Okay, so here with that, I can even trade uh, trade again. And I think it's the easiest way to do this. So let's just trade and uh, bring my rook in this uh, in this place here. I think would be good for me. And then I attack this again. Okay, attacking nothing. And uh, oh, not uh, yeah, nothing. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it was not good. It was not good because this pawn is defended. You can't take it. You can't take it. Big. No draw for you. No draw for you. He's going to go here, and if he does, I just attack him. If he takes, I take back. That's fine. You know, my king is not in danger, danger anymore. So I could just move my pawn. I just move my pawn. This is all right. You're gonna check me. He's attacking this, so I just go with this. Can he do anything to stop me here with his king? Nope. And I have this also, so it's fine. Oh, <laughs> I hanged it. Again, it's fine. I just go all the way to victory. Or can I? Or can I? Yes, yes, I can. Take something he moves here, and I go. Nine. I'm not good, but I can bring my king here. Here he, if he takes, good. He can take, but if he does, I promote. If he goes here, I promote anyways, and he has to sacrifice his rook now. So that's the beauty of it. Now I have a queen, and he cannot do anything. To stop me. Now I should watch the the the, the forks. Do I have a fork? I have this. This. Let's make him move. Let's make him move. There. Okay, this would, would be a check. Uh, not a check, sorry. This would be a fork, but not a very good fork. He takes, I take back with the fork. Not a fork, I take back with the check. Let's just check him. See what he does. Okay. Move back. Now I can just. Oh. 
and he resigned. So he lost all these points. <laughs> but that's just because he uh, was not. Uh, he was not. Uh, he did not have the the right rank yet because he did not play enough. So let's see what we can learn from this game. So we would go in the analysis board and we would ask for a computer request. A computer. We would request a computer analysis. Sorry. <clears throat> see if uh, we made any blunders. I made any blunders. Yes. It's not a. It's not on you if you if uh, I did. It's all because of me. Remember, all I do here, you can do at home. You can do to uh, if you want to improve. Um, I know it takes a little bit more time uh, than just play a game. But in fact, if you play just one game a day, like I do. Uh, sometimes I play a little bit more, but most of the time only one day or uh, one game a day. If you do this, uh, you'll save all the time you need to analyze your game afterwards. So. Okay, they say this was a good move. Why? Because this was uh, threatening more than what I did here. Um, and what's the best move for that? Okay, so just to uh, Recap here, I watch all the blunders I made according to the computer and uh, I try to learn from it. So this you can do if you use leeches.org with the analysis uh, analysis board yep. at the end of your game. So this would be the best move and why? Because if I take back, then they made it, they've made a pawn. It's a free pawn. And why why did I do this? Because I wanted to simplify. Um, and what did they do? They took, and that's what happened. And I did this, but they say I should have castle. I wanted to take control of this file, so I did exactly what I wanted to do. What I said I would do. Um, but apparently this was not a good plan because I was losing material. Maybe it was more of a strategic plan, you could say. Um, and I think it was. I think it was all right for my Evo again. But um, maybe something we have to that I have to learn here is that um, maybe losing material is not. Um, Maybe I should try more and find a way to build a strategic plan without losing material in doing so. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comment uh, what you think about this. And uh, yeah, so this was the plan which I executed. And here I should have just brought my queen back, but I decided to castle to be safe. Um, okay, and then we play a few moves, but my next blunder and last blunder of the game would be this. And this was, yeah, okay, so I already talked about these two, and the, these were um, two moves in the, in the same combination. So it was what I planned to do. Here I took, I took. So yeah, not much to learn from this game apart from the thing that I said, which is don't sacrifice material uh, for nothing. If you can plan a, strate a strategy while not losing material, it's even better. Like this was a blunder also. So I did some blunders, pawns, but yeah, not blunder, it was an exchange. This was... Okay, and this was a blunder. He takes here, just moves, but then, okay, he did that. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can't. I guess I should have. I could have played even better in this part, but uh, yeah, the the lesson from this game that I take is what I said already two times, but you have to uh, repeat it if you if you're gonna learn it. So. When you plan a strategy, a strategy, 
you have to keep in mind that material is even a safer value. So I'll try and apply that in my next games. So thank you everyone for watching. If you liked it, please click the like button and uh, subscribe. And I see you in the next episode.